We start with China's 14th national games and sprinter Su Bingtian won the men's 100 meters to claim his first gold medal at the games. The 32-year-old clocked a games record 9.95 seconds in the final as Asia's fastest man continued to make waves in the sport for his country. Mike Fox tells us more. Considering Su Bing Tian's stature in the world of track and field, it's amazing to think that prior to this, he had never won a national games. A decent showing at the Olympics showed that he's got what it takes to race with the best. So a time of 9.95 seconds to finish first here got the 32-year-old that elusive title on home soil that was absent from his list of wins. Su is the fastest man in Asia and competing on the domestic front might seem like a step down than when he's up against the world's best on the Olympic stage. However, his gradual improvement has been down to treating every single race equally and competing in front of fans again, well that's not so bad either. Uh, I'm very happy. After four editions, I finally won the national games. I'm very grateful for all the fans that are here. Thank you for your support. I can hear people cheering me on when I'm on the track, and I thank them for being here. It's great to have them. Despite a sixth place finish in the final of the 100 meters in Tokyo, the bigger achievement for the sprinter was becoming the first from his country to reach that event's final, and he did it under difficult circumstances that have surrounded every athlete under the pandemic, and that has meant irregular training times and places. What I achieved in Tokyo helped boost my confidence, but during quarantine, I thought I had lost that feeling, but I adjusted myself when competing in the preliminaries and semifinals. The winner at the last edition, Xie Jianye, came second, a result he saw coming after a string of injuries this past season. But despite not defending his title, the 28-year-old thinks he can get back to his best. Uh, this is actually what I predicted. There was a tiny problem at the beginning, but I just did by the end. Then I gradually returned to my Euro good form. I had some injuries at the beginning of the year, and I didn't do very well at the Olympics. I cannot reach my top speed, but today I reached my best speed in the later stretch. So I think I've slowly returned to my normal standard. As for Su, the 2021 Mid-Autumn Festival will always be remembered by him for a first National Games win, but it comes at the cost of being a competitive athlete on the road and in these difficult times. Yeah, it's been a long time since I last went home. I worked it out yesterday. It's been five months since I last saw my son. They say time flies when you're having fun. But if you're missing your child and able to run 100 meters in less than 10 seconds, then maybe that phrase doesn't quite apply. However, no matter the difficult circumstances that have surrounded this track and field season, Sue has been able to pull through and he now has the results to show for it. Mike Fox, CGTN, Xi'an.